Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimally set up your Windows settings to improve your internet. What are the best control panel settings, Windows settings, and a lot more to reduce your ping, packet loss, input latency, and so much more. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Okay, step number one is the best windows settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're over here, you have to go down to windows updates and make sure that your windows is always up to date. If not, try to do that because with every windows update, they are fixing bugs that might be causing any kind of troubles on your PC. After that, head over to network and internet and over here, you'll find ethernet settings. Click on that and over here, make sure that you're selected on the public network. Go back to network and ethernet and over here, go over to advanced network settings. Here you'll find network reset. I would recommend you guys to go and reset your network once before moving ahead and this will set up all of the values that you might have changed in the past to the normal values and now you guys can apply the best settings I'll be showing after that. So, so just reset it and restart your PC once. Okay, once you're back on your Windows, now what you have to do is simply search for allow an app through Windows Firewall and over here you will have to find change settings. Click on allow another app and then go over to the browse button. Try clicking as many games as you installed on your pc find their exe file and then click on open i've already done it for myself for all of the games and once you've added them you have to make sure to check both private and public sectors after that simply close this application one more important step is fixing all of your network issues using no ping you guys can download it for free from the link in the description below once you open up the application it should look like this and it offer 1000 games to choose from you can select any game that you like for example i'll select fortnite click on select the server and then choose the nearest server to you for me it will be by zero one as it is giving me the lowest ping and then click on optimize this game and it will start one click optimizing my game it helps me to connect my pc to the game servers without any hindrance which helps me to fix all of my ping issues packet loss and so much more best part about fortnite is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games to improve your keyboard response time and a dedicated fps boost section over here wherein if you enable these settings you guys can get the best fps possible in the game as well i personally use no ping for myself and i have seen drastic ping improvements and fps improvements in the game and i would recommend you guys to do the same go check out no ping from the link in the description below step number three is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and once you're over here go down to local disk c click on create and name it a network so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done simply click on close and close system properties next step is downloading the windows network optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below this is a super essential step because this will help you to basically set up all of the correct values that you have resetted and these values will be updated and it will give you the best performance possible for your ethernet cables or your wireless internet first is the registry optimization in which you'll find a boost system responsiveness disable power throttling and increase power efficiency all three of them will help you to improve your system's responsiveness disable power throttling will help you to supply enough power to improve the performance of your ethernet and increase power efficiency will turn off any power saving features that might be holding back your internet once that is done go back head over to batch optimizations in which i have left network optimizer.bat click on edit in notepad and verify all of the settings it is going to change on your pc don't worry it is completely safe to do so i have already done it once and i wouldn't recommend you guys to do it over and over if you have already done it what you have to do is simply right click and run this as administrator on your pc and it will run a set of commands that you do not have to run manually all of them will help you to improve the network performance and your ethernet performance next is the latency tweaks over here here you can see it in notepad as well it will help you to get rid of all of your input latency over here on your pc and this will be really good for competitive gamings i would highly recommend you guys to right click on this as administrator here again all right once you're done with that what you have to do is open up cmd on your pc and over here you have to simply type in ping 88.8.8.8 simply look at the ping over here as it shows you the average ping is somewhere around 5 milliseconds and what you have to do is simply type in ping 1.1.1.1 one these are the cloudflare servers and over here you can see the average is around 7 ms so you'll have to find out which one has the lowest ping and for me that is going to be five milliseconds so these are the google dns servers so what you have to do is simply look up for control panel on your pc go over to network and internet network and sharing center and i would recommend you guys to have an ethernet cable on your pc click on that head over to properties and here you'll find internet protocol version 4 simply double click on that and then click on 
to use the following DNS server. Now, if you guys are using the 8.8.8.8 protocol over here, the alternate protocol will be 8.8.4.4. And if you guys are using 1.1.1.1, then the alternate DNS server will be 1.1.0.0. After that, click on OK, click on OK, and that should be it. The next step is write in the Ethernet status over here, that is properties. Click on configure button over here, and this will open up your Ethernet controller properties. Head over to the advanced tab, and over here, you have to copy these settings. For ARP offload, go with enabled. Flow control should be RX and TX enabled. Idle power down restriction should be disabled. Interrupt moderation should be enabled. Interrupt moderation rate should be set to low. IPv4 checksum offload should be set to disabled. Jumbo packet should be set to disabled. IPv4 and IPv6 a large send offload, both of them should be set to disabled. LAA, that is locally administrator address, should be set to not present. NS offload should be set to enabled. Packet priority and VLAN should be set to disabled. Speed and duplex should be set to auto negotiation. TCP checksum offload should be set to disabled. TCP checksum offload should be set to disabled for IPv4 and IPv6. UDM checksum offload should be set to disabled for both of them as well. Wake on magic packet should be set to enabled. Wake on magic packets from S5 should be set to enabled. And wake on pattern match should be set to enabled. Once you're done applying all of these settings, go down to the power management tab. And if you guys see this option enabled, that is allow the computer to turn off this device to save power, you guys have to uncheck it. Once that is done, click on OK, click on close. It will disconnect your PC from internet for a while and within two to three minutes, it will be configured correctly. And that should be it. Simply close it. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave like and smash the subscribe button. Let me know how well it worked out for you guys. We have also rolled channel membership. So all of the members who have joined the membership, thank you all. Here are all of the names on the screen. And if you guys want your name on the screen as well, go and join the membership. We'll see you all in another amazing video like this. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.